welcome to this week's video. This week is my March favourite. I can honestly not believe that it's the end of March already. Where the frickin' frick has this month gone? I just do not know. I uh, seem to have um, brought Stonehenge down. That's really depressing. That's been on my wall for about six years without falling off. Right. This month is quite interesting, I think. Um, the variety of products is interesting, I think. Okay, I'm gonna start off with lip stuff because that is the product I've got the most of. So let's get that out of the way first. So first up, we have got Model, Model Co. Model Co in Kitty. This is this sort of nudey nude nudey nude I said every single time it's a very neutral colour um, it doesn't actually um, go that far from my natural lip colour so I love to wear this on days I go to work which is you know Monday to Friday so this has been one that I've been grabbing pretty much every single day without fail just because it's a neutral colour and it doesn't like make me look as if I'm wearing lipstick but I am wearing lipstick if that makes any sense at all I just really quite enjoy wearing lipsticks that don't show that I'm wearing lipstick whilst I'm at work I'm going along the same lines we have got this brand new Illamasqua Whatever, that one, you know the one. This again is in a very like nude sort of shape. Very good again for me looking as if I'm not wearing lipstick. It's more pale or like more to the nude side than it than the model model co one, but it still doesn't look as if I'm wearing much lipstick, but this does make much more of a difference on my lips. Um, it's more tan coloured, I guess. It's like darker. And next up, another thing that I've been reaching for a lot this month has been my Lord and Berry Kiss 20100 Crayon Lipstick. It is a bright red lipstick. I've worn it in a few videos now. It is a very vibrant red. It just really suits my skin tone and I love it because it makes my teeth look extra white, which is probably a really weird thing, but it does. It's just amazing. And next up, we've got two lipsticks. One of the ones I'm wearing now, which is this like brown tan color. Um, it's called Swiss Mocha Frap. Um, and then we've also got this one which is Raspberry Tiramisu Because I don't have my glasses on, I don't have my glasses anywhere near me Basically, I found these lipsticks on Tumblr they, There was a Tumblr post going around about these matte lipsticks that someone was washing off with some water that were seriously matte and not coming off their skin when they rubbed some water on and I was like dang I want some of those so I went online and I bought these two who I've worn a hell of a lot these are amazing okay so this one is the um, lip whip Swiss mocha wrap it's by um, Beauty Baker Beauty Baker, Beauty Bakery, by the way. Um, you can find them online. They have like these sort of, so they look like that, and they just turn out so good. This one is the one I'm currently wearing, and it turns out into this sort of browny coloured lipstick. I've never worn a brown sort of lipstick. I quite, I think I prefer this one to this one only because I have generally quite dry lips and this one doesn't seem to show up the cracks as much or as well as the purple one 
So the other one is this dark purple one. I'm really into my like dark purples. I honestly cannot read what the last word is. This is a darker purple, you can sort of see. Um, let me just do a little swabby swab. It looks way more vibrant on camera than it is on my lips. Um, when it, because it dries on like a liquid and then, I mean it, it comes on your lips as a liquid and then dries out within like 30 seconds or something. It's so fast drying out and it gets darker when it dries. Alrighty ho. Next up, um, going along the lines of makeup, we are going to talk about this little NARS box thing here. Pretty sure I've added this into my favourites before. This is the Orgasm Blush. Um, this is the only NARS blush I own, but I absolutely love this colour. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it, I don't know if you can tell. Lighting in it is awful, I apologise, it is because it's night time. 5 to 10 on a Saturday night and I'm making this video, so I apologise. But this is gorgeous, I have been leaning a lot more towards this um, blush than anything else this month actually. And I'm usually someone who likes to like um, differ every time I wear my makeup, I don't like using the same products every single time. So I sort of have a rule where I go through my products 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you know what I mean. So I'll go through my, my, my products in an order, oldest to newest, and then I'll go back to the, to the oldest and then start again, you know what I mean? When I do my face, uh, I don't like to use the same product every single time, I like to go through my products in an order. So, example for when I do my blush or my bronzer or my foundation, I'll go from oldest to newest every single time and then when I've done the newest one, I'll start back again at the oldest one. Um, it's just, it seems to be a thing, I do it with eyeshadow, I do it with concealer, I do it with eyebrow stuff, I do it with primers, I do it with foundation, I just do it with everything. I do it with powder foundation. Um, it's just a thing I do, but this one for sure has been a blusher that I have picked out more than anything else. Sometimes I like to break the rules and pick out a blusher or a, a certain product that I love more and this month it has been this one for this. For sure, it's the same with lipsticks, um, obviously I've been picking out these products way more than the other ones, which is why I've answered them, because you know every now and again you can kind of want to break the rules and not follow the same thing and like for work example I don't quite like going to work wearing a deep purple or a bright lipstick I like to be quite natural hence I break my pattern or my routine to wear um, these two I like to wear these two a lot um, going along those lines um, I guess saying about products I like to use a lot more than others even though I go for a routine of oldest to newest. These have been the foundations I have picked out more. Um, I've been trying really hard to wear makeup every single day at work instead of just putting eyeliner on. It seems really weird I know but I went I have been going through like the last two or three years not bothering to put a full face of makeup on and just putting eyeliner on every single day for work and you know what, I quite like putting on a face and so I've been trying to make an effort of waking up at 7, half 7 instead of quarter past 8 and using that time to put my face on which is probably really vain, I know. I'm actually getting up earlier just to, so I can put a face on. I know it's really bizarre. The reason behind it is because these match my skin tone a hell of a lot more than the other ones do, like these match perfectly. Um, so the first one is this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation. It's really funny actually that a lot of bloggers online have been suddenly loving the 24 Hour Infallible collection um, because I have been using this foundation for like, what, three or four years and now all the bloggers are suddenly obsessed with it. I think it's because they released a matte version of it but 
honestly, like, I have been digging this one since, like, I don't know. I think I got this one probably my second year of university, so I would have been like 20, 21, I think. Was I? I can't remember, it's so long ago. It's like three or four years ago. Anyway, that I got this. Um, and the reason being is because I left my original foundation at home and I wanted a version at uni. Yeah, I, ha I, I went for a stage. That's how. I, that's actually how I started building my makeup collection, actually. The reason why I started building my makeup collection was because I wanted to have a selection at home and a selection at uni. Um, yeah, and that's just how it sort of continuously built up more and more every year and now kind of it's kind of like a hobby it's like the thing that I collect now is makeup and I know I don't own as much makeup as a lot of people online but I, I just I quite enjoy it I quite enjoy doing it okay I don't wear it or do it because I feel like I need to hide myself I can easily go out of my house wearing no makeup at all I'm fine with that but I just enjoy making myself look nice okay that's the reason why Okie dokie. Anyway, um, this is a very chatty video, I apologise. Um, it's already 18 minutes on my recorder thing, so I'm doing awfully at this. Um, so the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour one is in the colour 15 porcelain. It's like the perfect match for my skin tone. Um, and the other one that I was also holding in my hand is this Match Perfection Rimmel Light Porcelain. Again, a brilliant um, match for my skin. I always thought I was an ivory person, but I'm apparently a light por like a porcelain person. I never realised this until I started buying these foundations and they suited my skin tone way more than ivory does. Ivory seems to be a bit too tan for me. It's sort of like a light foundation for me. Like I don't have to put a lot of on it, a lot of it on. Um, to hide anything as well, like it it covers up my colouring perfectly. Um, it is matte perfection for sure, um, and it also it's really great because it's got SPF 18 in it. I don't think the Infallible 24 Hour one has any SPF in it, which is the only downside to it. I'd say. Next thing we're going to go on to is concealer, which is this Wake Me Up Rimmel London concealer. Um, I don't often wear concealer because I don't feel like I need it, however if I do go for a concealer I will use uh, this one, um, it's everyone's favourite. And I got mine in the colour Ivory, I think it's the lightest one they do. Um, it's, it's really, it's a struggle for me actually finding concealers that fit my skin tone, they just don't because they're always too dark. Like, like, they're not light enough for my white skin because I'm like the fairest of fairest of all. So it's a real struggle for me to find concealer. I, I, I just I just make do and make it work. But I would love to find a concealer or a highlighter that's lighter than my skin because my light my skin's fair as it is. Next thing I've got is this Spectrum A17 brush, which is for your brows. Um, I have always wanted a brow brush but I have only ever used a the brow brush that came in the palette thing that I own and it's just really small. It's like a small, like it goes up to like the black thing. It's, just, it's tiny. So I wanted one that I could hold further away, be more precise with and so I've got this one which is, it's just a small little brush um, and it just does the job really, really well. Next thing I've got is this. It's a Model Co. More Brows. Uh, what is the word? Product. That's the word I was looking for. Um, this is More Brows. It is a small little, like, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's like a mascara, but for gel. But it's like a gel, is that what it's called? It is a very small brush. Uh, but it does well like it like properly gets into your eyebrows really well and it's got like little bits in it like, like that act like actual hairs so it helps really precisely um, 
choose your hairs for you. That made no sense, I'm sorry. Next thing on a mal list is this little thing here. It's my lemonade eye primer. I have never had an eye primer um, before this one, so this one is always going to be the one I go for. Um, this has been a staple in my makeup uh, regime every single day. Um, this just works really, really well. So much so that I don't know if you can even see it, but there is a little bit of a dent in there, which means it's being used well and truly. Um, all I literally do is dab my finger in the middle and just wipe it across the eyelid, and voila! It keeps my eyeshadow on for such a long freaking time. Like I don't, I didn't realise that eyeshadow could stay on for like the entire day, but I can put my makeup on at like half seven in the morning, and it will still be on at like half ten at, at half ten at night. And you know it's freaking amazing, like for sure amazing. Um, so this has been a godsend to me. Like I didn't really believe in eye primers before this one, and this was just like I've had this for months. I've had this for ages, like a year or two, I think. But this has been a godsend to my makeup routine. This body shop, Camille Silky Cleansing Oil. Um, I'm not a massive fan of chamomile, but this does the job well. Um, it's a bit leaky, which is really annoying, um, and the packaging is falling apart, which is not grand, it's probably the only bad side of using this stuff actually. Um, it's also really oily around the entire packaging. Um, I'm like halfway through it, and this has been what I use every single night to take off my makeup. It is pretty amazing like I can just put one or two pumps on my face I usually put a pump on it and then I rub it all across my face and then it works it works so well like I have not used a like cleansing oil or you know anything apart from my cellar water before um, my cellar waters work pretty well as well but I always feel like because you don't have to rinse afterwards that it doesn't get everything off However, I find with this, it does the job really well. It rinses your face, cleans your face, helps dig out the stuff from my pores. It is definitely something I would call a staple in my collection. Like, it's my holy grail sort of thing. Love this. It is so good. Obsessed. So, I thought I would add this in to my favourites because it's been a favourite for... I think I've been using this for like a year now as well and it's just amazing. Next up we have got my Kushi uh, Carmile Aloe Vera and Celendula Revitalizing Face Toner. This is a brand new bottle because I finished my last one which clearly means that I love it so much that I bought a new one. Actually the fact is that I bought these two at the same, that, that one and this one at the same time um, by accident and so I'm finally using this and I am not disagreeing with it. I love it. I love this to pieces. I usually put this on straight after I've cleaned my face with my cleansing oil. Put this on straight afterwards. Amazing. It feels really weird if I don't put this on, basically, is what I'm saying. This month my skin has been playing up a hell of a lot. I've been getting a lot of spots like around my face, which is like just around about there and there. Um, so I've been using this a lot, um, which I've had in my collection for over like five years or so. Um, this is Visibly Clear Spot Stress Control, 3-in-1 Daily Cleansing Oilation. I add this into my routine just to, you know, clear up my skin a little bit. I'm loving this, it is amazing, it's by Neutrogena. And that's it, that is all I have to show you guys. Okie dokie, my camera is literally at 30 minutes. It's gonna stop now, isn't it? Oh.